This is a quick demo of the Enzo Editor and Librarian. We're going to start by just taking a quick look around. Over here where it says unnamed, uh, this is where the 16 presets stored on the Enzo are selected. If the preset is in the librarian, you'll actually see the name uh, located here. Uh, and then, of course, here are all of the settings. Let's start by connecting to the Enzo. So I'm connecting through a Roland UM1 into the Meris MIDI I.O. box and finally connected directly to the Enzo. Uh, let's select that UM1 for both the MIDI input and MIDI out. And I've got my Enzo set to MIDI channel one and I click connect. And then you see now my connected state is uh, green, meaning I'm connected. And I've got the names of all of the presets that are stored in the Enzo uh, right here. Let's just do a quick edit of uh, Polyswell. Polyswell is preset patch number one. And I can go and change the pitch. I could change the filter. Let me uh, hold that chord. And uh, then let's assume that I like that, so I want to save it. So I'll click on Save to Enzo. I can give that patch a name. I'll call it Hi. Poly swell and a description. Uh, I'll just call it uh, Poly swell pitch zero. And I can choose to save it to any of the 16 presets. So let's just save it to number 16. And I say save. And now I have high poly swell here, so I can go back to poly swell and we'll take a quick listen. I could switch to high poly swell and we have the, the different setting. Now I can also change things like the wave shape, the synth mode, uh, which of the filter types, uh, the envelope type triggered or a follower. Uh, I can set the tempo and, of course, my uh, mix and uh, delay settings. That's all quite straightforward. In addition to the editor, there's a full librarian. Now, you can get to the librarian by clicking on librarian, or you can switch between the editor and librarian by clicking on the E in the upper left-hand corner. The first few presets I have here are really set up to be uh, directions. The interface on the editor is largely a drag and drop interface. If I wanted to preview a sound, I just click on it. So now I can preview it. If I wanted to take a sound and export it, I can grab it and drag it down to this disk icon, which will save it in the librarian's native um, format, which will preserve both the name and the description, or you can save it as a sysx file. Unfortunately, you'll lose the description, but you can share it with anyone that has a, an Enzo. Uh, they're not required to have the editor. Should you want to delete a patch, simply drag it to the trash can. Uh, and in addition to uh, the librarian and the editor, of course, you can also adjust all of the Enzo's global settings uh, as outlined here. Uh, that is a quick overview of the Enzo editor and librarian. I hope you get a chance to use it and enjoy it. Thank you.